Welcome everybody. Crawl into your interior cave and listen to the hermit and his wife, where we talk spirituality, parenting, Catholicism, inside and out. Hey. What are we doing? We're coming out of hibernation. <laughs> the cave. The cave. Are you ready? No, actually. Are you ready to do another podcast season? Did I really convince you to do another podcast season? Here we are. I did. Okay, what are, well, what are we going to talk about? First, let's tell everybody what we're going to talk about just to get them excited because I'm excited. And then we can bring them up to speed on where we've been all these years. What are we going to talk about, Anthony? Prayer. The most important thing. Prayer. We're going to talk about prayer. I'm excited. Different people's approach to prayer. What is prayer? Different ways you can pray. I, I would, Here's what I really like. So last time we did this, we talked to each other, which was great because it was COVID and, you know, we were lonely, lonely with one another. <laughs> it's like you reading the Thomas Burton book in front of me, Thoughts in Solitude. Thoughts in Solitude can be read salty. with someone. In the room. At the Sil- silently. <laughs> you were trying to silence me. But this is fun because this is, we're going to do something different. We're going to talk to some of our favorite people about their prayer lives. I'm really excited because we know some incredible people who have a totally different experience of prayer one from the other. Like we've already done a little list. I look at the people on the list and I'm like, this is just an amazing mashup of people that God's created who are going to share something different with our listeners. They don't have to just listen to me do my <laughs> laugh. Yeah. Different <laughs> states of life. And yeah, hopefully, hopefully some of it will resonate. Um, I think it will. But because I think they're just going to be interesting and fun to talk to and, and to hear from. Because everybody's experience is so different. It is. It really is. You can be saying the same prayers. You can be meditating on the same mystery of the rosary. You can be going to the same mass. And your experience is just so different because it's, it's your relationship with God, which is going to look different than everybody else's. Yeah. So it's an invitation to grow deeper, to go deeper. I my posture here. Go deeper. Ooh, go deeper. Grow deeper. Whoa. Seems like a t-shirt Bye. slogan. <laughs> Trademark. <laughs> TM. Forthcoming. Okay, so we're going to talk about prayer. We have a bunch of people lined up. Talk about, you know, can you mention, you mentioned different states in life. So, like, what's the range here? Are we only talking to married people? No. No. So we'll, have some, we'll have some single people, married people, some priests, some religious. Yeah, we'll ha- and we will have some married people on who have... Adult children who are grandparents, and we'll have some married people on who have children themselves, and we'll have married people who don't have children. So kind of, we just want to hit on all the experiences. I want to hear all their stories. I want to talk to them, get them to share, open up. Okay, so yeah. that's what we're going to do, but where, where have we been? What's been happening now? Bring us up well, to speed. I think we shut things down like three years ago. You know what? We came back when Benny was a baby and Nuke Chapey came out. Mm. That was like our reprise. So Nuke Chapey, was, now I begin. That was three years ago. That was a really long time ago. Uh, what's happened since then? Well, yeah, we had baby number five and now he's over three years old and he's extremely feisty. That's a good way to put uh, it. Just constantly. He's just a hitter. Anybody have a hitter? Anybody have a child who's a hitter? He's, he's a hitter. So we're working on that. Tornado. He is a tornado. But okay, since since we last talked to them, I've gone on a long retreat and then I went on two silent retreats. Well when you say long retreat. It was very long. What was your what was your duration? Well, it was thirty weeks. And I it was in her house, so I didn't <laughs> I didn't get to go somewhere for thirty weeks. Where is now she's gone. But it was an interior journey. And we'll definitely have to, we'll have to do a whole episode on that because it was so amazing. But you have done a lot of things interiorly too. I've gone on three silent retreats. Wait, that's three. Yeah. It was in the last, three. In the last year. And before that, what was the last time you went on one? 20 years. I kind of can't do that math. So bunching up here. You just were making it for last time. You did. You had some beautiful experiences in silent retreats. Our kids are older, we're older, we're wiser, we're grayer, but I think there's just a lot of beauty to share about 
our prayer, the fruits of our prayer, but most importantly, hearing about other people's journeys. What else? Um, yeah, well, I, I hope that, you know, anybody, any of the originals, you know, who listened way back when, I hope that OG listeners. You know, this finds you in a good place. And um, uh, Nell and I have been talking a lot about um, that a lot of times the Lord asks us to do different things in different times. There's different seasons. Uh, things aren't static. And, um, you know, in the Psalms it says, sing to the Lord a new song. And, you know, maybe this is a season for you where um, you want to try something new or mm -hmm. you want to sort of, you know, reach a different gear. And um, so. We, I love that. Yeah, we sort of, I think, I, I, I sense that in the last, you know, year and a half or so, we've been given a, a lot of a lot of graces ourselves um, and been asked to, you know, <clears throat> um, try something new, our Lord's invitation mm -hmm. to try something new. So I want to sort of pass along that invitation um, to anybody who's listening. I think that's so great. You know, we don't have to wait. Oftentimes there's this build up of like, it's a new liturgical season. Okay, what are we going to do for Lent? We're just like really hardcore for Lent. We're like, oh, this year Advent's going to be different. But we're in the Easter season right now, and then we're going to be in ordinary time. And we don't have to wait for the right feast day to start or for the right liturgical marker to start or wait for some big sign. Like, this is your sign. If you're listening, this is your sign that God wants to go deeper. He just wants to go deeper with each of us. So open up your heart and ask him to show you how, and then ask him to do it for you. Like, if he wants it and he wants that unity and closeness, he'll make it happen. If we are like, yeah, okay, Lord, yes, yes-ish, like, he will. He'll make that happen. So this is your sign that there's going to be a renewal in your prayer, we hope, by hearing all the stuff that other people are experiencing in their prayer, by hearing stuff from us, but really by carving out a little bit of time every day to listen in silence. So we're going to have a little challenge at the end of every time. So we'll alternate, right? We'll have interviews, and then we'll have shorter podcast episodes with the two of us. But I feel like we should issue like a little prayer challenge at the end of every one of our single apps, just the two of us. Whoa. What's your prayer challenge going to be? This is the first time we're reconnoitering, we're rounding back to everybody. What's it going to be? What's your prayer challenge? Do you like how I just made that up and put you on the spot at the same time? Wow. <laughs> uh, I think I think my prayer challenge is going to be, um, you know, really trying to uh, take something from Scripture each day. So Ooh. Uh, maybe focusing on, you know, the readings from Mass each day. Like um and just mm -hmm. taking a word or a phrase or a sentence and, you know, kind of kind of ruminating on that mm. throughout the day. That's so great. Cause See you can where just, it goes. Yeah, you can just look, look up on the USCCB website, the mass readings for the day. I mean, there's tons of apps that have them, but also you could just literally type in, like, Gospel of Luke into Google. Or if you know Latin, it's better in Latin. So <laughs> go straight to the Vulgate. <laughs> go straight to the Vulgate. I love that. You can start anywhere. Just pick one little thing and wait for it to, to stir and move in you. Because you don't have to do it, right? You don't have to make this happen. Our Lord wants to do it with you and for you. Yeah. Okay, that's just the prayer challenge. Openness. Okay, what about you? Oh, that's a good challenge. Or is it just one? We'll stick with that. How about that? I think one challenge is enough, but I will piggyback off that and say... Maybe look at a book in the Bible you've never read before. There's a lot. There's a lot of like random Old Testament books. So sorry, Lord, but they do feel a little bit random. And just see if there's something in there for you too. Not analyzing it, but just being open to the living, breathing word of God. What does he want to say in your life? Because he wants to tell you something. I can't wait to hear. So please respond in the chat. Is that what YouTubers say? Like, click subscribe, like, ring the bell, do, do, do. I have no idea. Respond. I don't know either. Respond with a comment if you get a great word or if you get something in scripture because we'd really love to see it and hear it and pray with you over it. Okay, is that it? Be like an over and out? Like how are we going to signify we're done? Good, I will cut him. That's it. <laughs> Those clacky things. <laughs> take two. Take, take two. We need to take two for our whole life. But the nice thing is that this is a... Uh, very low edit podcast. So as you can see, it's dark out. The kids are asleep. We actually just went and gave a marriage talk, which was really fun. I love speaking with you because I like to listen to you. 
So we've got a light up here and it's very, it's very dusky and cozy and we're just not gonna edit a lot. You're just hearing from us as we are. Yeah, well, no kids are chucking things in the background or That's true. yelling. So Maybe a brief reprieve. It's All quiet. Right. It is quiet for two seconds. All right, my friends, we'll see you next time. Talk to you soon. Bye. That's not a thing. Are you going to say goodbye? I think this happened last time, too. <laughs> Bye.